Hey guys, welcome back to the house. So y'all, we have to go ahead and talk about the latest excerpt from the Not All Diamonds and Rosé, which is a book authored by a man named Dave Quinn. Y'all know that this is supposed to be the housewives tell-all with all of the exclusive tea and interviews and things of that nature. And I believe the book is also being distributed by Andy Cohen's company, which I thought was fascinating. But this excerpt that I wanted to share with y'all comes from your fave, Candace Diller Bassett. Now, just to give y'all a little background information on the situation, remember last year during the pandemic, we all witnessed that fight in the barn house, okay? You had Jizzy on the side instigating the situation. You had Monique and Candace going back and forth. All of a sudden, Candace just started yelling out, are you gonna drag me, Monique? And Monique did exactly that. She ended up dragging the hell out of Candace. And, um, you know, next thing we knew, Candace's frontal was in the back by her kitchen. Okay? Monique Samuels pulled a Sheree Whitfield, and she just wanted to shift her wig a little bit. Okay? So after that entire incident, y'all, Candace was so distraught. She was so traumatized. She was um, desperate, right? And she wanted advice. She needed to seek counsel and was demanding to talk to Andy Cohen immediately, right? Not to mention, y'all, just a side note, Andy Cohen ended up saying that he was very disappointed in the fight because it wasn't a good look for the franchise and he doesn't want people correlating love and hip-hop with Housewives, which I think has a racial undertone, but y'all let me know how y'all feel about that in the comments down below. But uh, with that being said... Take a deep breath because this excerpt from Candace is chilling. She says, I even reached out to Andy's assistant and asked for him to call me. Nothing. That's effed up. I know he has well over 100 housewives all texting and calling him at the same time. But how many of them were physically attacked on camera by a co-star? The fact that he couldn't even schedule 10 minutes to reach out to me. You don't give a F. You're making money off our backs and feeding your son with it, and you just don't give a F about us, and you can't tell me that you do. And when I saw him, I did say it to his face. Wow. I thought that that was interesting. Now, I want to know what Andy Cohen said after Candace said what she said, because that was chilling. Okay, and I'm gonna be honest about the situation. Was it a little rude? Yes, but at the same time, I know where Candace is coming from. Okay, she did not have to mention Andy's son. I thought that that was uncalled for, and that's just another example of Candace just taking a low blow, mentioning somebody's child when you do not have to do that. You can get your point across without cutting to the white meat, sis. As a grown ass adult, you have to learn how to talk to people a little bit better. Okay, I'm sorry. Before we go in and drag Andy Cohen, let's just take care of our own. Okay, take care of our sis real quick. Um, girl, you had no business, no business talking and mentioning Andy's son ever. Period. With that also being said, y'all, Andy Cohen knows good and damn well that without the Potomac Housewives, and more importantly, the Atlanta Housewives, the franchise would be nothing. The franchise would have been over a long time ago. Nobody would have been interested. The fan base would have been stuck to the actual Real Housewives of America, okay? Everybody sitting at home watching. If it wasn't for the likes of Lanethia Leakes and Kenya Moore Hair Care and Portia and Candace and Monique and Karen and Giselle, if it wasn't for those women, Housewives wouldn't have the fan base that it has today. Housewives would not have the viewership that it has today. It would not be a cultural phenomenon, the iconic show that it is today without these black women. And so I'm going to have to give Candace all of her points, minus one for mentioning the sun. Okay, because that was harsh like, damn, you know, she says you're using us and you feeding your son with the money. Like, damn, Candace. But everything she said in that excerpt was truthful, right? In her time of need, she was desperate. She was probably scared. She was traumatized. Um, she literally got beat the hell up on camera. 
She knows that it's going to be shown on national television. She's probably going through a crisis, right? Y'all know that she wasn't raised a certain way, like how maybe some of the other housewives were. And so this was probably more traumatic for her than it would be for a lot of us. And um, all she wanted was a phone call. That's all she wanted. And Andy Cohen couldn't even give her that, right? But every time you want to book one of these ladies to be on Watch What Happens Live, they pick up the phone and they show up, okay? And I don't even think Andy Cohen can say, well, I'm super busy. Like, okay, yeah, you are probably busy, but we all know that the executive producer title is for vanity at this point, okay? You are the second coming to Mariah Huck. I heard from the grapevine that you don't really have no real, you know, decision-making power. So you're not that damn busy to not pick up the phone so that this girl could get some sort of, you know, solace with what the hell then happened on the set of Potomac. I mean, come on now. What y'all think? Candace said everything right except for the fact that he left out the black part. And I'm adding that part in, right? She said that, uh, you know, Andy Cohen is making money off of us, which he is. Um, but he just doesn't give an F about us. That's true. He has been making money off of the white women. He's making more money off of the black women. And ask him if he cares deeply in his heart for any of these ladies. That's making him a millionaire. Absolutely not. Now, another thing that I wanted to mention, okay, just to give Mr. Andy Cohen, y'all's fave host and executive producer, a little bone, right? This is business. And Andy Cohen is not obligated to be your friend. Andy Cohen is not obligated to be your bestie. He's not obligated to pick up the phone if he don't want to. He don't have to cut any scenes. He don't have to add any scenes. He don't have to make no phone calls on your behalf, Candace. Okay? At the end of the day, this hopefully taught her a lesson. Okay? This should have taught her a lesson that these white people don't care about you. Bravo! does not care about you. Truly original NBC Universal. Nobody above you. The people on your paychecks that's signing them off do not care about your well-being. This is a whole business model. That's what reality TV is. They want you to show up, do your job, you get paid, and when you no longer serve them, they're going to get rid of you. And that's just the name of the game. You got to get out of your feelings and into your bag in the words of Marlon Hampton. So, y'all got to let me know how y'all feel about the situation. On one hand, Candace is totally correct. These white people are making so much money off the backs of these black women. Uh, at the same time, honey, there's no feelings when it comes to business, babe. Get into your bag, sis. Anyways, um, y'all got to let me know how y'all feel about the situation. I'm going to go ahead and log off. I love you guys. And don't forget to create a great day.